Hi friends, in this video we're gonna talk about how to run local LLMs with Intel or AMD GPU support using LM Studio. We have already covered a video on how to use Olama to run local LLMs. We also have a blog post on that. I will leave the link of those two in the description. However, one challenge with Olama is that it can use only NVIDIA GPUs. It can't use AMD or Intel integrated GPUs. That means if your laptop or desktop has Intel integrated GPU or AMD's integrated GPU, you can't use that for your LLMs. That's why you can run LM Studio. LM Studio supports Intel or AMD GPUs. So we are going to cover how to install LM Studio, how to download and run models in them, how to use the CLI of LM Studio, how to use the Python SDK to run LM Studio with Python programs. And finally, we can chat with our documents using RAG in LM Studio. So we're going to cover these topics. So first, we need to download LM Studio. So further, go to the LM Studio website, lmstudio.ai and click on download for Windows button or it supports Mac and Linux also. Download the relevant distribution and then install it. Once you install LM Studio, you will get an interface something like this. You should also see the LM Studio notification icon. And if I right click on this, you can also get a lot of options like you can even start an LM Studio server. You can see the models and you can do a lot from the system tray itself. So that's it. We've covered what is LM Studio and the installation of LM Studio. These are pretty straightforward. And the next thing is how to download models in LM Studio. So you got a platform to run your local LLMs. So now you need to download the LLMs. So that's really easy in LM Studio. Go to this search button, discover button where you can search the models. And here in the search bar, you can search for Llama or whatever model you want. LM Studio searches the models from Hugging Face and gives you them here. I've searched Llama 3B and I've got a Llama 3.2 3 billion parameter here. I can just download and use it. So you can click the download button and the model will be downloaded in LM Studio. So that's how you can download models and use them in LM Studio. While the model is downloading, let's see another way to download models in LM Studio and that's through the LM Studio command line. So in the LM Studio site, go to the doc section and here go to the CLI reference. It's an excellent place where you can learn about the LM Studio's commands. And here I'm concerned with downloading the models. So for that, I'm going to say LM get. So in the LM get, you can search for the model and actually download it. So LM get is the command and this is how you can use it. This is the command line options. And an example is something like LMS get llama 3.18 billion parameter model. And if you run this command, you can download the required model. You can even give an approximate name and search for the model in the command line. Let's try to do that now. So I opened a command line and I'm going to type LMS. And since I've installed LM Studio, this is the LM Studio command line and I'm getting these options and LMS get is the command which I'm concerned with. So I'm going to write LMS get and I will search for OpenAI. So it has given you a lot of models which have OpenAI in this and you can click on any model by using the keyboard and click on enter the model would be downloaded for you so this way using the command line you can very easily download models in lm studio so now we know how to download models in lm studio you can use the lm studio search bar and search for the models and download them or else you can use the lms get command to search for models and pick any model you want so just now the model has completed downloading you can see the load model button or else you can just remove this or remove this dialog box and now let's go to the chat interface of LM Studio. You are seeing a chat window but you can't chat right away you have to load a model into the chat window and that's why you have to select a model to load here. So click on this and before charting you have to select a model. I have only one model here I am selecting that and now I am ready to chat. You can see LM Studio is loading the model. Once the model is loaded then you can do the chatting. Looks like the model is loaded. Let's try to chat with our LLM. So I want to say hi. I've got the output. How can I assist you today? And you can see it's pretty fast. My computer here has Intel R graphics GPU. So let's ask a question and see how the GPU usage goes. So I'm going to split the screen into half and I'm going to ask this a question like what is life? Now when the GPU is processing, you can see the GPU percentage is 89%. So when the LLM is giving the answers, the GPU usage is more. And once it's done doing the answers, the GPU usage is less. 
so the llm is using the intel gpu to give you an answer and that's why i'm getting answers very fast when compared to olama because lm studio is able to use my gpu so just like that by loading the model and asking questions you can chat with llms in lm studio chat interface now you can even chat with llms in the command line very easily by loading the model using lms load and chatting with it using lms chat let's try to do that now so i'm in my command line and here i'm going to say lms load and it's going to tell me which one do i want to load and i'm going to select my llama 3.2 billion model so it's loading the model into the memory now the model is loaded successfully now let's try to chat with our model so i'm going to say lms chat and hey it's ready to chat with us i'm going to say who is einstein and it's giving me answers and you can see the speed is really good because it's using the gpu the speed is really good when compared to olama now if i want to exit the chat i can just write exit so that's how you can chat with the llms in command line using lm studio now let's talk about the lm studio python sdk instead of chatting with llms in the command line you can chat with the llms in your python code how cool is that you can do that very easily using lm studio python module and you can install that really simply using pip install lm studio and use the module something like this so let's try to first install the python module and write the code to chat with the llm so i'm going to open a blank folder here and i'll open the command line and let's try to pip install lm studio so i'm going to write pip install lm studio so we have successfully installed lm studio now let's try to create a python file and talk to lm studio in that python file so i'm going to create a file something like index.py first let's import lm studio so i'm going to write import lm studio as lms now let's try to get a client to talk to lms so i'm going to write with lms.client as client now let's load a model so that we can chat with it so i'm going to say model equal to client dot llm dot model and here i have to give the model name i can get the model name from command line so i'm going to open the command line and say lms ls so i can see what all the models i have i have this model called llama 3.23b instruct just copy this model name and close this and paste this here now i got my model let's try to chat with that so i can say chat equal to lms dot chat so now i have created a chat session you can even add a system prompt before giving the user prompts for example i am giving a system prompt here like chat dot add system prompt and here i am saying that give me answers within 20 words i don't want long answers so i'm giving a system prompt before talking to the llm that i want concise answers now let's try to ask two questions in this chat so i'm going to give the queries here in a list so my two queries are who is einstein and the next query is what is his nationality now let's try to create a for loop and ask these queries one by one so i'm going to say for q in queries and then i'm going to add this message to the chat using chat dot add user message give the query now let's try to get the response for the query so i'm going to say response equal to model dot respond to the chat let's try to print the response after you get it and just give a new line impression something like this and we should be good to go we have created a model we've created a chart object we've added a system prompt and added some user prompts and getting the response one by one from the model let's try to run this i'm going to save this and i'm going to open a command prompt and say python index.py yeah sorry i have to write it lms client in brackets save this and again run this so i got my two answers albert einstein was a renowned german born physicist mathematician and a philosopher and albert einstein was a german born swiss physicist of jewish descent notice i did not mention einstein's name in the second query it was asked in the first query so we are maintaining a chat context using this chat object now there is one more approach to get a streaming response something like this where instead of using model dot respond you use model dot respond stream and it will give you a stream of strings and you can iterate through those strings and print them if you want 
here you can see the output coming something like an LLM's output because we are streaming the results and printing them in our command line. So this is it. It's that simple to use LM Studio in Python to ask LM Studio for answers for the queries in the Python code. Now let's try to do rag in LM Studio. Rag means retrieval augmented generation. In my blog post and video regarding Olama, I've explained in depth about what is rag and what is the concept of embedding, etc. So how to do rag in LM Studio? So let's open LM Studio. Just to demo rag, I've opened the documentation of Git, printed it to a PDF. And now let's ask LM Studio some questions about Git. So I'm going to attach the document using this attach file button here. I'm going to select this git documentation PDF, which I've just downloaded. And now I'm going to ask questions about this document. How can I add some extra changes to a recent local git commit and then do the commit? So let's try to ask this question. Now LM Studio has chosen for ritual, which is rag. It's basically creating the database, the vector database for the document. So it's first chunking and then creating the embeddings, which is the vector database. And now it's processing the prompt and searching the database for relevant snippets. And once it finds the relevant snippets in the document, it will stitch those snippets together and try to give an answer for a query from the documentation. You can see it's suggesting some methods using git add minus p git commit git amend and it's giving something like using git diff and it has given some three citations so you can do the fact checkings by looking at the citations and this is how you can attach a document and talk to it using an llm in lm studio now after you played with your models you might want to delete your models from lm studio and that's also really simple just open your lm studio click on this folder button and here you can see your models if you want to delete a model just click on these three dots and click on delete your model would be deleted and that's it guys this is how you can run local llms with lm studio and it can also use your integrated gpu so it runs faster compared to olama we have covered what is lm studio how to install it how to download it how to download the models from the user interface and command line how to use the LM Studio chat interface, how to chat with LM Studio in command line, how to ask questions from Python using LM Studio LLMs, how to talk with the documents in LM Studio using RAG, and how to delete your models from LM Studio. You can see all the things we talked about in this video are present in this blog post. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. Please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.